When we think about issues animals face, we think about climate change, the increasing human population, and deforestation. But habitat fragmentation is one of the longest lasting pressures these animals face. Habitat fragmentation, as the name describes, is the breaking up of an area of land habituated by a population of animals. Habitat fragmentation is caused by two things, humans and natural events, the former making up a larger percentage of the causes behind this problem. Within these two categories, research has shown three different types of habitat fragmentation. Those are habitat isolation, habitat degradation, and habitat subdivision. Although all three of them encompass the same problem, we'll show you the difference with this current example. Koalas, the cuddly Australian marsupials, have been heavily impacted by habitat fragmentation for thousands of years. In the northern hemisphere, continental ice sheets have split up and restricted species to only a few small populations during the glacial cycles. In the southern hemisphere, biogeographical barriers such as the Brisbane Valley Barrier, Hunter Valley Barrier, and the Clarence River Barrier have restricted gene flow and movement, creating bottlenecked populations. These are examples of natural habitat fragmentation. However, agriculture, urbanization, forest fires, drought, and climate change are all human-caused movements. Consequently, koala habitats become smaller and more fragmented, also known as habitat isolation. Subdivision leads to further isolation of species from one another if the habitats are separated by a significant distance. This makes it harder for sexual reproduction, which leads to inbreeding and reduced genetic diversity, an issue koalas are currently facing. These marsupials are more likely to move through developed areas, having to cross dangerous roads or pass through properties where they can get attacked by dogs or drown in backyard swimming pools. In southeast Queensland, over 100 koalas are hospitalized each year after being attacked by dogs, and 75% of these will die from their injuries. Consequently, habitat fragmentation results in a decline in numbers and possible extinction. Simple solutions to this problem can be through more education to the public so they are aware of the effects of destruction of habitats and reconstruction and conservation of habitats by building roads around a specific habitat or replanting destroyed areas. A more complex solution may be wildlife crossings which is effectively a bridge for animals to cross over highways such as they've done in the Netherlands. Alternatively, wildlife corridors can be used to go under motorways. Both solutions allow for broken habitats to be connected and allow species a safe way to cross this dangerous barrier. Through universal efforts, we can prevent further habitat fragmentation and reverse as many effects as possible.